Hello friends. Today we're pulling out the big snow suits. It's negative five and we're going on a super adventure. Gotta see if this full body snow suit fits me. All right. Okay. This is gonna be my outfit for the day. Ooh, so awkward to get in and out of. You have on your long johns? You got on your fleece? Got on your long johns and fleece? Yeah. What about a warm hat? Today is not a day to skimp on the snow gear. We all have face buffs. We've got toe warmers. We've got hand warmers. Wearing long johns is important because when you get all that gear on, if you get sweaty, it wicks the moisture away from your body. If you wear cotton when it's cold and then you get outside in all your snow gear, you end up getting sweaty. It stays really wet and then you freeze. So you gotta wear the right stuff. Miss Luna, sorry you can't come on our adventure today, but I'm sure you'll have nice warm naps while we're cold. Bye bye, sweet. Bye, sweetie. These are my favorite boots, bogs. You can find them on Amazon or at Cabela's. Helps if you have two of them. I'm only seeing one. Where's my other boot? Ah, I don't know why, but it's all the way in here. Yeah, not the end. Woo! When it's this cold out, your nose hairs freeze when you breathe in. <laughs> but the sun's gonna be shining today, so hopefully It'll have some warmth to it since it's now March and we can enjoy the longer daylight hours. out here but it just looks like a wasteland with all the chunks of ice and then on the other side there are frozen waterfalls it's a gorgeous drive it's beautiful but it just seems like you're on a whole different planet behind me here is the frozen waterfalls water seeps down but creates these beautiful ice arrangements all along the highway as you're driving Today we are headed to Spencer Glacier. The only ways to get to Spencer Glacier are by train, or by helicopter, or snow machines. So we are taking snow machines today. This is only my third time in my life ever being on a snow machine, and it's been probably 18 years since I've been on a snow machine, so it's gonna be quite the adventure. And that wind is cold. I'm freezing, I'm gonna get back in the van. Woo. That wind is cold. Up in Girdwood. Wow, look at all these different Hello Panda. Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, caramel. Oh, like a full-size gummy hot dog. And a full-size gummy burger. A gummy taco. And gummy sushi. And a pizza. <gasps> All right, everybody got a lollipop and a bathroom break. Now we're off to the trailhead. All fueled up. We are 
meeting up with our friends the Dittmans today for this adventure. I'm sure they've done this before. Yeah, a couple times. A couple times. This is new for us. But have you ridden your bike out there? What? Have you ridden your bike out there? Yeah, once with Ben. Okay, Mark did ride his fat tire bike in the winter there once, but never on a snow machine. About a 12 mile ride out to the glacier. Do you, can you do this all winter or is it more just a spring thing? It's like mid-winter to spring because the river has to freeze up and everything. Yeah. All right, so mid-winter to spring. But right now is nice because of the extended daylight and the sun actually has some warmth to it. So that's nice. Okay. On the top. Do it on the top. Because it will feel funny. And this one. Stuck on. Okay. Hey. Oh. Just trying to get him dressed before he gets cold, you know. <laughs> Put the hand warmers in there. Get this hat. Oh, I. Okay, good. That's. This here is the valley we're going to be going up. I've seen people take off on snow machines. There's two people on cross-country skis, fat tire bikes. There's a couple different ways to get out there. Oh, see, here we have a biker. And that biker even has skis attached to his bike, so they're going to go up some mountain back there and do some skiing, which is incredible. As you can see, Alaskans don't let the winter slow them down. Now, if you're biking, you feel I feel like you can wear a lot less gear because you're doing exercise. But if you're just riding along on a snow machine, you need to bundle up a little bit more. Hi guys. So this is Kinley and North. They're going with us. Here's Weston. Bennett's riding back here in the sled. Okay, so these snow machines are two-seaters, so at least two people can sit on them, if not three, if you have a little kid like Everett. Ah! Hunter's driving me. Take care of your mom.
like go like this like iceberg. Pretty really darn incredible. All right, we made it to the glacier. This is a big iceberg behind me. The kids are sliding down. North, can you show me how you slide? Yeah. I can't see you, but I'm guessing you're coming. Oh, now I can see you. Woohoo! Like a penguin in the South Pole. Yes, sir. <laughs> Places like this make you feel really small. The mountains are huge, the ice is huge. We are small. It's important to stay on the trails and not get really close to the ice because it could calve and there can be puddles. So got to stay on these well-beaten paths back away from the ice because you don't want to get wet and cold this far out I'm actually sweating I'm warm I take my jacket off when we head back I will put on all my face layers again but it's warm in the sunshine and you know I do still have on five layers 
I am wearing my new Wolex top and bottom, and I have to say, they are incredible long johns. I have been super happy with them. They are much warmer than my Costco ones, so on a cold day like today, it's good. We're probably sitting at 10 to 15 degrees now because the sun is so strong, but earlier it was negative five when we got started. I'm just grateful that the wind is not blowing because I feel like the wind is what really gets you. Just bites into you, so no wind, sunshine, amazing glacier, like it's actually amazing anywhere you look. 360 degree panorama. Unfortunately, I forgot my cell phone and that is how I run my drone. I was hoping I could fly the drone around here, but I'll have to do that another time. lucky to be here. You feel lucky to be here, Bennett? Yeah. These boys have caught snow machine fever very quickly. Is extremely bumpy. Yeah. Oh. My arms, when I ride on the back, I just like could barely hold on for dear life. They get so tired, it's like a full body workout. No, I was like getting in my arms like Ugh. Hunter's just chilling back here. made it back to the parking lot. My camera ran for 54 minutes on the way back. And it's windy here by the car, which makes me so grateful it wasn't windy the rest of the time. Whew. That was really fun.
we were out snow machining till about 4.30. It's about 4.45 right now. So we stopped in Girdwood. This is our ski resort town. We're gonna go get some dinner because we're about an hour and 30 minutes away from home. Maybe hour 20 minutes. There's people skiing down the mountain up there. That's our ski resort called Alieska. And we're gonna try out Chair 5 restaurant here. Eight people, Bennett. Let them know eight people. The fact that the sun is still shining at five o'clock, it just is so nice. It's been getting dark closer to seven o'clock now, which has been so nice. Everett, over here. Keep going, kid. sign in the women's bathroom is great too. Mom cave. What happens in the cave stays in the cave. <laughs> Lots of funny signs. Wow, it's still light out on the mountain. Oh, the sun's shining over there. Okay. Everybody is fed. Got to visit with my sister and niece. And now we can all just enjoy the beautiful drive home. Nobody will be complaining about being hungry. And yeah, I'm ready to get home. I am exhausted. This ended up being a full, full, full day. And my legs are super sore from all the bumps on the snow machine. Like my hips are so sore. <laughs> It feels like I did a huge workout. Well, friends, we just made it home. Oh, Miss Luna is already coming to say hello. You need to say hello and see Mama. A few things about today's adventure. One, it was amazing. I, you think it was amazing too? The entire thing today was just breathtaking. The drive was breathtaking. The ride on the snow machines, the glacier, all of it was just so incredible. Like. I can't even describe how incredible it is. The amazing thing about that adventure is that is an area that is not really accessible very easily in the summertime. Winter just changes things. Lakes become playgrounds, waterways become playgrounds. You can access things that you just can't get to in the summertime. So it makes Alaska a year round playground. I feel like March in Alaska is pretty special. You finally have the extra daylight to recreate and spring is not here yet, but you just 
know it's coming. And so you soak up the end of March. The Northern Lights are out more often. It just is kind of a special time after a long winter, you like get this little boost, like, okay, we can make it till the end. I feel like that's what happens in March. Next, I am so tired and sore. I am not sure how I'm gonna walk tomorrow and my arms from holding on while Hunter was going on over all the bumps. I was so happy to drive on the way back. I realized it was much more comfortable. So I have to keep that in mind for the next time I go snow machining. But the boys came home and were just like bouncing on the tumble track thing we have downstairs. And I'm like hobbling up the stairs. So getting old makes things a little bit more difficult. And I'm just exhausted and they just seem to have all sorts of energy. Anyways, thank you so much for coming on this adventure with us today. We are so grateful for each and every one of you that spends time with us. We love you and we love sharing life in Alaska with you. Every time we explore somewhere new like we did today, I just have this profound sense of gratitude for God's creations around me. It was just spectacular. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska life. You're just happy that we're home. You missed us, huh? Yeah, you missed us. I'm gonna go relax. You can come cuddle with me, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs>